In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And a happy Thanksgiving to everyone as we gather around this altar to give thanks for all the blessings that we have received, and in especially for the Eucharist. So we take a moment to prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins and turning to God for His love, His mercy, and His forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came into the world in obedience to the Father's will. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you suffered and died for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, on the third day you rose from the dead and now plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's wombs and fosters them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on us in Christ Jesus, that in him you are enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? And then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Well, today our minds and our hearts are focused on the things that we have to be thankful for. Four. We can be thankful even during the most difficult circumstances of our lives. There is an especially inspiring example of a brave and thankful heart in the story behind one of the church's Thanksgiving songs, the one we are going to sing as our recessional today. Now thank we all our God. This hymn was written during the Thirty-Year War in Germany in the early 1600s. The author was Martin Rinkert, a Lutheran preacher in the town of Ellenburg in Saxony. Ellenburg was a walled city, so it became a haven for refugees who were seeking safety from all the fighting. But soon the city became too crowded, and food was in short supply. Then a famine hit, and a terrible plague 
and Ellenberg became a giant morgue. In one year alone, preacher Rinkert conducted funerals for 4,500 people, including his own wife. The war dragged on, the suffering continued. And yet through it all, he never lost courage or faith, and even during the darkest days of Ellenberg's agony, he was able to write this hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. Even when he was waist deep in despair, this preacher was able to lift his sights to a higher plane. He kept his mind on God and heaven when his earth was a living hell. Can we not do the same? We whose lives are almost trouble free compared with a man who wrote this hymn. As we prepare ourselves to begin another Advent season, let's commit to taking the time to reflect on the many blessings we have received as a parish, as a family, and as a child of God. Let's pray for those who are struggling with their faith and have fallen away from the church. Those who are experiencing hardships because of the pandemic those who fall through the cracks of the bureaucracy and suffer because of it. And then let's reflect on our own lives. As another hymn says, count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God hath done. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. And now let us stand united in one voice and let us bring our prayers and our petitions before our loving Father. For the church and her mission to preach the gospel throughout the whole world, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sanctify her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For civic leaders in our communities and throughout our country, may God's wisdom shape the decisions they make for the greater good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from anxiety or depression, may God give them courage and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community of St. Michael and our journey as disciples, may God strengthen us in our baptismal call to share the gospel with others. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have passed away from this life, especially Benjamin Sarver, for whom this Mass is celebrated, may God shine His face upon them and grant them eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all those who are traveling this day and over this Thanksgiving holiday, that they may be kept safe, let us pray to the Lord. And for all those who have asked for our prayers, those we've promised to pray for this morning, and those who have no one to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, And now we pause to add our own intentions in silence. And for all these prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we humbly bring our prayers before you. Hear and answer these prayers we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine. And let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to our brothers and sisters in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Yes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Michael, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now let us pray together in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Thank you. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Here. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity through Christ our Lord. Our recessional song is going to be the song I spoke about, Now Thank We All Our God. So I would ask that you please grab your missalette, and we're going to sing all the verses. And since this is the first Sunday of Advent coming up, if you would take that book when you're done, and any other book in that pew, and bring them to the center and just set them there, we're going to change out the books uh, tomorrow after Mass. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. Thanks be to God.